We're evaluating limits analytically and we're under section 3. We're going to be uh, looking at this particular limit here. It's the difference of two cubes and it's a little bit of a twist on the last two that uh, we've uh, worked. Not much, but just a little bit. Let's go to the board. So when we go ahead and do direct substitution in the very beginning, what's going to happen here is, is we're going to end up getting 0 over 0. So we need to try to, in this particular one, since we've got the difference of two cubes up here in the numerator, we need to factor this and then cancel out some like factors. But before we even do all that, we're going to write this thing, get this thing in a standard form, uh, so it's a little easier to look at. So we end up having the uh, limit as x approaches 9 of, it was 729, I believe, minus x cubed over 9 minus x. And like I said, we do the direct substitution and we end up getting 0 over 0. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the, to get the numerator and the denominator in a standard form. And so I'm going to rewrite the limit Notice I wrote an equal sign here, and we have the limit as x approaches 9. Now I'm going to factor a negative out of the numerator, and so we end up with uh, pulling a negative out. We end up with a negative 729 plus x cubed over, and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to factor a negative out of the uh, denominator and so we have negative 9 plus x now we end up having a negative over a negative so these are going to basically uh, just cancel out and I'm going to be able to rewrite this limit and of course I'm going to reorder the terms up here putting this more in a standard form and another thing, uh, 729 can actually be written as 9 cubed over x minus 9. So there's kind of a formula you need to remember, and that is being able to uh, factor this numerator. We have the difference of two cubes. and Actually, I was going to rewrite that over here, do some side work, but maybe you've seen some other problems work that we've worked just like this. So this becomes x minus 9, and then we have x squared, and of course if this is a minus, we want to put a plus sign here, and we just carry this 9, it's the coefficient out in front of x, and then we square this 9 and of course this becomes always a plus and 9 squared is 81 right? and it's all over x minus 9 now we can cancel out some like uh, factors here and finally do the direct substitution however we are going to rewrite this one more time and we have x squared plus 9x plus 81 now we go ahead and do the direct substitution so we have 9 squared plus 9 times 9 plus 81 and this is actually can be rewritten as 3 times 81 and uh, what is 3 times 81? Okay, is that right? 243? I hope so. We're going to find out here in just a minute. Anyway, so this is equal to, what did I say? 243? I forgot what I said. Well, yeah. Let's uh, go to the web page. All right. Let's hit the answer, and whoop, there it is. And of course, you can always hit the help button there and uh, get a quick uh, overview there of how we come up with the uh, final answer. So, just to recap, real quick here, we want, I got this thing in a standard form. We pulled the negatives out and then went ahead and I did the f factoring the uh, difference of two cubes, canceled out like factors. I